consulting means listening but also hearing what we have to say and I really hope you hear what yeah. we say. I have to have a, try to ask you a few more questions uh, that are really close to simply what I what I want to know. Um, why do you not prescribe to the precautionary principle? There is already cases in this province and when you look and look into presentations on Pennsylvania and Arkansas there is so much scientific and uh, people's accounts on what's happening with this industry. If there's only, I hope we all know what it means, precautionary principle. Mm -hmm. yeah? If there's only a, su a suspicion of a doubt of something being risky, let's maybe wait until we know what's really going on there. Why do our neighboring provinces already do this? Why have they applied the precautionary principle? I really think, I do know you're not, I'm not, not going to give me an answer, but I really want. Nova Scotia are doing the same thing we are right now. They but they're, they, they, they are don't putting have a moratorium on. I just want to be specific here. That they don't have a moratorium has, on. PEI has in Quebec. And I'm just saying Nova Scotia does not have okay, a moratorium Okay, that's why on. we're shipping there our waste and, model. And, and we're studying it uh, as, as much as, as they are studying it. But I asked you, why do you not prescribe to it? I, I want to know why you not, or do you? We, do you, or we, do you not? We've been very clear that we're not putting a moratorium on. We're going to deal with this case uh, uh, in a slow fashion, is, is what we're doing. And that's why we're doing our homework. We're going to Alberta, we're going to BC, we're going to Pennsylvania. I lived in Alberta, I know how that we're looks like. We're going to Arkansas, yeah. who have been in business down there for many, many years. And that's why we're doing our homework on it. Well, the homework takes some time, but then it's time it to listen to, to the people. And a government that is in place to represent us, and I know in my community, I cannot speak for them, but we have done a survey. Every person has signed. 99% of people said no. And we have made an informed choice. So I can only urge you to, to start listening more and more, and you will hear more and more protests. Yeah, but we, this is not why we're here for yeah, today. I'm not, okay. I don't want to yeah. give you any. I just want to, but I just want to remind you and that you have a duty to do to yeah. us. And this is to act in our best interest, right. not in yours, in yeah. ours. Um, you grew up in rural New Brunswick and Sussex, in an agricultural landscape with forestry, rivers. It's more of a personal question, actually, but how, how, can, how do you explain that we, you can sell this land for a 10% gross revenue, gross revenue, not net, to an American shale gas company? Is this the best interest of our people? The royalty system is being evaluated right now uh, to look at the royalty system not only for the province but for the landowner and for the community around the area. What does and, that mean? And that's being studied right now. What does that mean? The royalty system. Yeah, but the how, per, the in which way? In which way? The, so that we get 12% instead of 10? It could be. I, I don't have a Pacific, and that's why we have a... That brings me to the next question. Th okay, yeah. Th th that's why we have okay. an expert doing this to report... 10 or 12 percent for me will not make my... will not change my mind. <clears throat> Even 50 will not, but that's me. That's me. Okay. That's me. No. Uh, I will not do it for 100 percent, because okay. I don't want my, my rural New Brunswick uh, to look like an industrialized landscape. Okay. That's my opinion. Yeah. I think I don't want to. I, I could go on, but I I know you have <laughs> have other things to do. You have to prepare for the next meeting. But in the very end, maybe I should ask you, what can I do as a citizen, and what can I tell my neighbor to do, and what uh, to make you listen to? Because you're saying we're still we're taking this slow. It's good that you're taking it slow, but. Most of us are convinced you should not continue at all. And you already told me you're not willing to. Where does the democracy come in here? Um, if you have a large portion of your public saying, we don't want you to do it. How do you defend that position? How do you defend that position? You have to weigh both sides of the equation. No, please you tell me, I, what do you need me to do? I'm, I'm just going to try to explain it here to you that we're listening to both groups, we're listening to the people that are against it, we're listening to the people that are for it. There's not many people that are for it, only the people that are not informed about the, all the consequences, and that brings me back to one more point I made earlier, when, and you have made information sessions, 
but when will you actually tell the people this is the potential risk, there is health risks, might not happen, but these are the risks, your well may be contaminated, your roads will be used a lot, your neighborhood will be a, a truck driving traffic back and forth, and there's real cost associated with having this industry here. Again, I, I gave you the speech yesterday, I don't have yeah. to repeat it. Yeah. Uh, highways, Medicare, people getting on welfare, bankruptcies, these are real costs. And there's many people out there that have made these cost-benefit analyses. People that have had it in Pennsylvania, that had it in this <coughs> Arkansas. And I really, I wonder, have you done these cost-benefit analyses and present this to the people? Because you cannot just present a one-way view. You have to make sure that we New Brunswickers know what we're getting into. You, you would not buy a car if you don't know um, if you have rust or if you have something wrong. I have to know, I will have my car get inspected and I have to know what are the risks with doing whatever I do. Every day I cross the street I know there's a risk. But New Brunswickers on the whole are not being told the full story. And this is your duty. It I is. would ask you to. Yeah. Yeah. Minister, can I ask one question, just one comment? Yeah. Uh, when you have these environment impact assessment, what's the procedure you plan to use? You plan to like, hold them at the legislator or the it in? Do you plan to visit the small towns? <coughs> How do you plan to do that? The EIA process is, is a very complex issue, but we, we consult with the people that are around that area. And uh, there is quite a process to the, the EIA system where environment is involved. Uh, consult with the people that around the area. We know exactly when a well is drilled, that we know exactly what's going to go into the ground, and those are the regulations we have put in place which weren't there before. So we feel comfortable with our regulatory system, which we're str strengthening up, and we feel comfortable with our EIA process before a well is even, before any dirt is even disturbed. I would feel really good about our government here if I would get a response from you today and say, you know what, I hear you. I hear what you're saying. And I will make sure that I will look into all these things because I'm here in your interest. That's what I would like to hear from you today. I would like to hear from you that you say, not just consultation, public consultation. We're doing it right here. I'm doing it right now. Yeah. There's lots of people out there. Don't just say, I'm going to consult. When? Are you going to come tomorrow to Taymouth? and repeat our survey or simply take our survey, it's all the signatures are there, and take it into account. How? I don't feel comfortable leaving this like this. I'm I would like to hear from I'm you working. that you're going you're gonna to have a mandate and you're going you're gonna to do the best interest and not economically only because not even economically that adds up. I'm working with the local MLA in that area, Kirk McDonald. And, we and he said yesterday well he's open day. to shale gas. Okay, so, so that was a very disappointing message to us. Yeah. Very disappointing message. And the first step is... And is, the people is, is in his riding are not after him, behind him, I mean. Yeah. So, again, you cannot take our MLA as representative. Ask, I urge you to go to the Taymouth Community Center website. There is a, 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 a survey. Mm -hmm. No, when are you going to all of the communities and asking them? This is public consultation. It's not just making an information session and some people will say, hey, I don't want this. Well, well but, you know, this is not information. That's not public consultation. Yeah. Not that, enough. And that's why we have the steering committee in place. And the steering committee? And, when and are they going to ask us? When are they going to ask us? They will. They will ask? We don't have a, a set date right now. I mean, I'm not going to say tomorrow or the next day. We're working on that as, as a committee. And it will be a communication plan. Yeah. Communication to disseminate information or to ask our opinion? Because I think that you should consider uh, asking our opinion. Go from community to community and not do an information session, yes, but then say afterwards, follow up. What do you think about this? That is consultation. Consultation is not providing information. Consultation is provide information and ask for feedback. We all sit here, we are trained in, in communication in how it works, how, how uh, problem solving works. I am trained in it. I'm sure you are. Mm -hmm. It's a loop and we know it and we need feedback. Consultation is not giving out information and not hearing back. Yeah. So you will ask us? Yeah. You will ask us. Yes. You know now a lot of people are saying no. I say no. Yeah. Okay. I say no, night now. 
that's my standpoint. It will always be, remain. And we're listening to both sides of the, the argument. We are. Who are you lis li listening to on the positive side? The industry. Because they want to bring their money home. I'm very worried that we're selling out our province. Very much worried. Selling it out with something that we cannot fix in the end. They're going to leave and the stuff's going to remain and we're going to clean up their dirt. And you cannot clean it up. How can you assure me that you can safely clean up the environment afterwards? You cannot. You cannot give me that promise. You cannot. You know it. You're nodding to this. So you know it. So let's not get into something that we cannot handle. This is a snowball effect. We go into it now slowly, yeah, and then we cannot get out anymore. The more that this industry is here, the more they will, of course, make sure that in the end they're going to get it. No, no, no. We have to get rid of them. You I keep just an have a question. And that's why we're handling it slowly. Well, that's why we're working the with the industry. We're working with. with stakeholders like yourself are working with different groups. Uh, it's unfortunate the, the Conservation Council in New Brunswick won't come here and talk to me. They won't? They won't. They well, probably because they've taken they a won't. stand. Because they've taken a stand. And, and so do well, I. Well, I know you've taken a stand, but you come and, and talk to me. And, and I appreciate that. And that's why we want to talk to the Conservation Council in New Brunswick, who we were talking to uh, six or seven months ago. They gave us some suggestions. We looked at their, their suggestions, and, and now all of a sudden, overnight, they say, we're not talking anymore. I can understand that. 